This week on WBLM News, as some schools have announced that they will be returning to school in a hybrid model, how will Belen make the transition? New year, new theme. Why did Father Willie pick it, and how does he hope it will inspire the student body? An eighth grader and his brother have gone viral. Check out and see what they're doing. And football season looks like it's a go. What are you Wolverines doing to prepare for this season? Hello Wolverines, I'm Carlos perez Abreu, and welcome to this week's edition of WBLN. Before we start, Letterman Jacket orders are due by the 19th of September. You may turn in any letters or patches to Coach Apa, with your name clearly written on the back of the letter or patch. The order form is on on-campus. If you're interested or have any questions, please contact Coach Apa. It looks like more schools will be opening hybrid sooner rather than later. Belen is no different, and it looks like the part of the student body will be returning soon. It's official. As of September 14th, Belen will be allowing students back on campus in a hybrid model. We spoke to the administration for more on what this actually means. So um, the word hybrid implies that we're basically teaching two different ways at once. So um, probably a more accurate way of describing it is a concurrent way of teaching so that you'll have half of the students in class learning the typical way and then the other half of students at home um, zooming in at the same time. Well, Belen from the very beginning has been following CDC guidelines uh, in order to reopen the school. So obviously first thing is a mask. Uh, everybody's required to mas wear a mask when they enter school. Uh, if you look at your typical day, uh, it's gonna be starting off with a health questionnaire that's gonna be sent home in the mornings and you'll be replying to certain questions and it will let you know if you should come to school or not that day. You may be wondering how they're gonna keep the desks and chairs clean with so many students coming in and out. Uh, when you arrive to your next class, you would be grabbing a wipe, disinfecting wipe, and wiping down your desk before you sit down and also before you leave, just to make sure that uh, we're covered as much as possible. Uh, going to lunch uh, is going to be uh, new also. Obviously we have the six foot rule in place there also. So when you're walking downstairs and we insist on walking downstairs, when you get downstairs, you're gonna see that there's uh, marks on the floor uh, that are six feet apart. That's where you will form the line to go in. The food is all prepackaged. You basically are going to request uh, you need either the hot meal or the sandwich or a salad, and you'll, you'll receive it prepackaged. And then uh, you'll proceed to sit down. And uh, if you notice, lunch is only 30 minutes because you really can't go anywhere. We'll be sitting in the dining hall eating, and there's only three students uh, per desk, excuse me, per table uh, to eat. Every year, Father Willie introduces a new theme to inspire the student body. But how is this year's different from past years? Adrian Fraga has more. It's a tradition at Belen to have a theme for the year. Something for us, the student body, to strive for. Something that will unite us in becoming better men for others. And this year, it's no different. So the, uh, the idea for the theme of this year, Band of Brothers, came after the experience this summer of participating every night uh, at 9 p.m. with the rosary that was organized and led by the sophomore class for Anthony Perotti, their classmate. You know, you know Anthony's been in the hospital now for you know, close to a year after having uh, a dual organ transplant. And the sophomore class decided to get together every night at 9 p.m. to hold a, a rosary and invited people from, from all over the Belen community. So there are about 150 people gathering together every single night thanks to this initiative. And I realized how this, 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 the, his classmates came so strongly together. Even though we've been in this hybrid mode, or, excuse me, in this uh, virtual mode and all that stuff, even though we haven't really seen each other, that, that friendship and that bond is still very present. So I realized that the theme set by the sophomores over the summer can continue throughout this year. And to focus on the fact that what's most important about Belen uh, you know, it's not the campus and it's not the, you know, the cafeteria or the athletic fields that the most important thing about Belen is the brotherhood that's formed. Thank you, Adrian. 
Ever think of creating an Instagram account on something you like to do and hoping to get a fan base? Well, this eighth grader and his brother did. Alfredo Diaz brings us the story. It's Maximo from the Hotel Boys. Thanks for checking in. Paul and eighth grader, Maximo Garcia Tunyon and his brother Jorge combined to make the Hotel Boys, as they're known to their 7,000 plus Instagram followers. What me and my brother do is we go, we review the hotel, we film everything from the check-in to check out. We do breakfast in bed, sometimes pool, beach, and that's it. We just film and film. Both of Max's parents are involved in the hotel business, which is what piqued Max's interest. Um, my parents worked in hotels since I was a baby, so I kind of got the opportunity to be going to different hotels. Although the account started with hotels, they recently let out reviews and recipes for all types of food across Miami. I've always liked to cook, and uh, since like quarantine, it's I've been having like a lot of free time to cook and get better. So I, I think I posted like my first cooking tutorial and then all the food, food bloggers like started coming in like, like, hey, you should do this. They started following me. One of them in New York that has like 1.3 million followers. He's like following me now and he's like giving me advice. So yeah. Max hopes to continue to expand as his next goal is to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram. For WVLN, I'm Alfredo Diaz. What's up, Wolverines? Here are your sports for today. The Belen Jesuit football team is back and has never been more prepared for a season than now. With the COVID-19 pandemic occurring, the team and staff had to take safety measures. All uh, the masks, the cleaning the pads, the hand sanitizer, the brakes where we're washing our hands constantly, and just protocol awareness. Coach Shaney has also been impressed with the energy the team has been playing with throughout all these practices. <clears throat> I think the energy, the energy. The energy has been great. Guys have been working the tails off. Can ask for more. Coach Shaney is also looking forward to seeing what his players will perform this upcoming season. Uh, just see the young guys get out there and play and the seniors go out with a bang. I mean, right now I got a lot of guys that are participating and working their tail off, so I'm ready to see that translate to the game. The Belen Wolverines football team seems to be ready for the upcoming season and is looking forward to it. Last night, the Miami Hurricanes opened up their season versus UAB. The Canes managed to execute a 31-14 win, which was led by transfer quarterback De'Ara King, who went 16 for 24 with 144 passing yards, along with 83 rushing yards. And a big shout out to our very own Don Shaney Jr. on rushing for 52 yards last night against UAB. It's great to see him play, especially in a UM uniform. The Marlins also played last night against the Philadelphia Phillies. After being down 6-3 at one point in the game, the Marlins rallied back and won 7-6. Stanley Marte helped lead the charge during the rally after hitting a game-tying three-run double off of Brandon Workman in the eighth inning and George Alfaro was singled home the winning run in the ninth. This Sunday, the Miami Dolphins open up their season against the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium. The Dolphins are being led by veteran QB Ryan Fitzpatrick and star wide receiver Devontae Parker. Thank you, Wolverines. I'm Jose Zeraluki for WBLN. Thank you, Jose. That's our show for this week. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Remember to stay safe and stay golden, Wolverines.